global economy is on a razor's edge. We are expecting a very sharp downturn this year. This was actually our downside scenario six months ago. It is now our baseline. Global growth will be around 1.7%. This is the lowest growth rate outside of global recession since the early 1990s. Because of the possibility of inflation remaining elevated, that could trigger financial stress in some emerging market developing economies, and that could also trigger a global recession. We have a major war in Europe still there. Geopolitical tensions could escalate. Food and energy insecurity um, could be a problem. Social tensions, another major risk. And of course, uh, COVID outbreaks, uh, we cannot basically rule out. Beyond these, uh, we should always keep in mind risk associated with climate change, the higher likelihood of natural disasters, as well as uh, weaker growth outcomes, much weaker than what we are expecting. And there is this broader risk of fragmentation of global trade, investment, financial networks. Small states are quite vulnerable, and over the past three years, after they contracted by about 11%, they experienced very weak recovery. They are telling us the type of impact of these multiple crises having on developing economies, 